This demonstration will show you how to manage your pages on your website. You can go to Pages from the menu item on the home page, or you can use the Quick Link menu at the top. When you click on Pages, you'll see a list of all of the pages on the website organized in hierarchical structure with top-level pages and sub-level pages. You can create a new page with the Create Page option. We'll call this a test page. There are a number of different settings that you could modify on this page, including how you want the page to appear on your menu system, what panels the page should utilize, whether or not you would like to have a page title block and the images associated with that, password protection option for securing your page and its content, and of course, meta tags. Once we've entered our information, we'll click Save Changes at the bottom. Now we'll see in our page list our new page called Test. Let's edit that page. The purple pencil icon is how one can edit a page. Let's add a section to this page by using the plus icon. We'll entitle this new section, Welcome. And for the type, we'll use basic paragraph. Next, we'll select our layout. Scroll down and enter our text and finally choose our image. This one looks great. Now we'll make the image a little bit larger. That looks good. And save our changes. Great. Let's see what it looks like on the website. We can do that by clicking the website icon at the top of the Site Manager. And there we have it, our welcome message with a photo of our church. Now let's add another section to this page. We could go back into the Site Manager by clicking on the Site Manager icon on the top left. Or we can simply hover over our existing paragraph section and insert a section below using again the plus icon. Let's choose for this section type Components Upcoming Calendar and click Create Section. There are a lot of different layout and stylistic options here, but let's use the default and click Save Changes. Now we've got our upcoming calendar beneath our welcome message. Things are looking pretty good, but let's add a new section for our YouTube channel. Let's put it beneath the upcoming calendar section. We can do that again by hovering over the upcoming calendar and choosing Insert Section Below. For the type, we'll select Components YouTube. We'll enter our feed. We'll use three columns, have a maximum number of videos being set to three. Hide information about the channel itself, and just display the videos. That looks great, except perhaps it might look better above the upcoming services. We can move this section by putting the mouse over it and choosing the Move Up option. Much better. Now let's change some of the styling for the upcoming calendar section. We can do that by going to the Advanced Properties. Now let's make this section take up 100% of the width. We'll also add some padding to the top and to the bottom. 
select our background image, maybe this one that shows the inside of the church, add a background color, a slight tint to the image, add a background parallax effect, and save the changes. That looks nice. We can, of course, go back into the Site Manager and edit our page just like we started. We can do that by going to the Site Manager icon in the top left. Here we'll see our same sections, just as we saw them on the website. We can also move them around using drag and drop. Anything we change on the back end will also be changed on the website itself.